Hello Lolas, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. If you're not a member of the Chatterbox, you can join for exclusive live videos and exclusive content for $1.99 a month. You do have to be at least 18 years old to join. Um, if you guys want to follow me, you can follow me on my Instagram and It'll be a great benefit for those that do. <laughs> um, also, um, let me know if you're following me on Instagram or if you even have an Instagram, by the way. I'm just curious. It seems like um, it seems like the community is in all these divisions. Like there's the Facebook collectors and artists, there's the YouTube collectors and artists, then there's the Instagram collectors and artists. It's like not really as blended as you would think like there's not a lot of people that have like all three so but anyway and i also have a blog that i have been abandoned a lot um it is mrrenysmithbabies.com so i'm going to jump over here with Jaden, and i'm going to get him out of these clothes and i'm going to dress him how i typically dress my babies um I, how i well I will dress them in this, of course, because I picked this out for him. But how I normally have my babies, like when we're, you know, by our lonesome and they're just laying out on our, uh, when they're just laying out on my uh, bed or, you know, in the rockers or whatever in my room, I like for them to be in just regular, everyday, little comfy barely dressed so close a lot of times um i don't necessarily put them on a lot of clothes now you guys know that he's not finished as far as his rooting goes um so you will see him his little ball head in a little bit so don't be alarmed <laughs> Um, he has to wait his turn like every other baby <laughs> but yeah I usually just like to put them as just like a little diaper and um, a little onesie or something like that um, I just like looking at them looking at the painting um, either you know it helps me like connect with them see them for what they are but also when I just look at my own work like all the time I I start picking them apart I'll be honest like I start seeing a flaw here a flaw there but it helps me like later be like okay I need to do better at this or I need to do better at that so it all works out in the end I'm actually working on a Lulu by Joanna K hey. Um, it's a little gonna be a little different, <laughs> but I am I. So because I just got my new baby and I I made him a boy, Austin. You guys are familiar with Austin. If not, go back and check my previous videos out. So I made Austin a boy because I only seen boy. Okay, I'm gonna take this off so you guys can. You guys will just have to live with it. <laughs> But um, because I keep having all these boys and I'm like, I want a cute little girl. Like I want to, you know, I want to have, you know, a newborn girl. But I always just see boy. I just seem to be more of a boy mom. So. I'm going to. Should I change her diaper? I guess I could change her a little bit. Diapy, diapy. Should I change a diapy, diapy, or should I just leave him on this diaper? I think this diaper is actually still okay. I'm not gonna just. I'm not gonna change him. Yeah, I think it's fine. I'm gonna put his. He's gonna probably wear this hat. It's gonna probably end up having to come off for me to put his shirt on. So I was just gonna show you guys <clears throat> I'm on 
There's those side. We still got some work to do with him. He's a good length, right guys? Hey, look at him. <laughs> That's my boy. I love the way his 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 back like kind of dips in like right there. Cause it feels so real when you're like holding him and, and stuff like that. So um He's a veiny little something. <laughs> Remember I told you guys, I know we'd be like, oh, look at the veins. You guys can't see it. Sometimes it don't show up on camera, but that's okay. Anyway, so I am going to get his shirt on. So I was going to change his diaper, but I'm going to leave him with this diaper on. Um, he has, I can't show you all of him, but he does have a, show y'all this he has a very like right, he has a little his little bum bum <laughs> his bum bum and his little boy bits all his little everything has you know some realism to it i may get him on this so i've always been told like you know, stop pointing out, you know, this flaw and that flaw and stuff like that. And I do think sometimes when we're painting, rather it's preborns or silicone, they actually, some of the little flaws actually make them look more realistic because we don't have, like, none of us are made perfect. Like, we're not flawless. Um... But I like to point out those things because I like for people to realize that, you know, I don't want nobody thinking that I, I, my painting is flawless and I'm so perfect and, or anyone for that matter, actually. Um, I've never had a, a baby that was just like flawless, not, not. I will say not ones that have a lot of detail in them. I don't know. But also, you know, silicone is not like not n not as simple as reborns. And not that reborns are simple, but working with the mediums are just harder. I guess I should say or more tedious. <laughs> oh boy. Um I'm just rambling here. Say, I just rambling. But yeah, I will put him on like something like this. Just a little, like a little shirt. And I'll probably, where is this a brush? So like, if I wasn't on camera, I would do this. So I've started. rooting his hair but I haven't like I said I haven't I haven't got that far I just did a little bit just so when he wears his hats it's not like where he looks totally bald like at least around his face you know what I mean like make him look like he got some type of edges or whatever going on to me that that means makes it look a little bit more real for me so, and I'm going to put him on these little socks. I'll be honest, sometimes I usually leave them without socks on, but I don't know. I want to, I want to kind of match him up a little bit. So he's not, I wouldn't leave, I don't think I'll leave him up long. I'll, I'll fix them in a minute. I usually like looking at his feet, so I usually don't put him on socks as much, but he does look cute with with his socks on. So we'll pull, pull him down a little bit, little sockies, and boom, there we have him. So 
<laughs> so there we go, there we go. So, I don't know. I love, um, if you guys don't know, he's poor by Maria Lane Grover. And I love, I love the way her silicone feel. Like, I keep thinking he got armatures and I want to do this. But the good thing is, is that they will kind of stay up even without armatures. But, yeah, I just love the, I love the way her silicone feels. So it feels really, really nice. And that's. That's how it go, and it's my little squish. And then I, I love his bottom lip, so I don't even want to put him on a pacifier. But sometimes I, I like to to do the little sucky lip thing. He like sucky lip, but that lip is so cute in person. It looks more fleshy and more like you know regular people lips than I think it come across on camera. But yeah, so that's my little my little stinkapoo and. You know, of course, in pictures, sometimes we do this because we just want to show that they got, you know, full body. But I would have it down and he would probably be sitting up in a, like the boppy on my bed. Here come later as soon as I make up my bed. So, yeah, I really love him and like the these type colors and stuff. But anyway, that is all. Um, so, yeah. Hope you guys like enjoy him getting his comfy clothes. And we will see you guys later. Let me see what you guys can see. See if you guys can probably at a horrible angle, but sometimes it's just yeah, it's a horrible angle. Let me take you off. So that's him. Yeah, sometimes it's it's just not a good angle. But see you guys later. Bye.